Yo, what's up, YouTube? Um, this is ASP Fox, and um, today is going to be a tutorial on the lip roll and the vortex whistle, which both sound like. That's the lip roll, and the vortex whistle sounds like. So, as you can see, there's a lot of different like mouth positions for both of these sounds, and I'm going to try and explain them to the best of my ability. So, for the basic lip roll, is what, which is what I'll be teaching in this video, you need to make your lips just kind of like you see something that's kind of like interesting like mmm that's pretty cool mmm like this so once once you get that which is the easiest part of the sound you're gonna want to move it to the side I like this side because it's easiest for me but you can do it on this side too um, so I can do it on both <laughs> better on this side for me though but um anyways you pick a side so I'll be doing this side for this video and once you do that you put your lips to the opposite side so if you're doing it on this side you put your lips this this way so so now it's like that now once you do that you're gonna want to push your lip your bottom jaw up and then down again You should get that. If that doesn't work for you, then try just popping your lips. It's like. Once you do that, you release the pressure a little bit. So instead of getting like the full pop, you just release the pressure a little tiny bit. So, that's how to do the basic lip roll. If you want, I can do a tutorial on like the different um, types of lip roll, like the sub bass, the um, the 808, the um, normal inward lip lip roll, punchy, all that type of stuff. But for now, I'm gonna move on to the vortex whistle. Sounds like this is a very fun sound to use, and. I could not learn it for the longest time. Um, I always want to learn after watching Azel and Sardu Black do them do it. Really good beatboxers, check them out. Um, but they both do it different ways. Sardu Black does it from the front, and Azel does it from the side, like I do. Um, anyways, in order to do the sound, you need to know one sound the slizzer roll. The sound is really difficult to teach, but the way I think of it is you put your tongue to the top to the roof of your mouth, so like like that. And you kind of just inhale but make sure the air goes through the top right there. Cause if you do if you don't let it go through there you might get the K snare or just like a weird air sound. So you want to make sure it goes to the top. So you almost got that. You want to make it a little more clean. So um, if you want, I can go more in depth on that because I know it's kind of difficult to learn. So I'll try and go more in depth on that. Um, but anyways, you have to learn that sound and then you need to get the lip position if you want to do it from the front you have to you have to purse your lips like that and then put your bottom bottom jaw forward so that it becomes a little more like you can see your lip more once you do this you do the slizzer roll yeah um, to do it from the side, you do the same thing with, you purse your lips, but then you move your jaw, your bottom jaw, to the left, wait, no, the right side. So it would look like that. One crucial thing, make sure that these aren't touching. You don't want it to be like that, you want them to be apart. 
you don't want them to touch because if they touch you don't get the sound you don't get it as well so once you have that and they're not touching just do the slizzle roll and you should get the sound so um there's a lot of different beats you can do with both of these sounds um like napalm does lip rolls all the time <laughs> so um if you want to stick to like basic beats you can put them in between btk or um and with the vortex whistle you mainly use it for drops or transitions you don't normally use it for like a normal beat so like you wouldn't go you could but it's really easy to counter if you if your opponent knows um what you're doing so a really normal beat that people with vortex whistle do are just like they do like tech and then into the vortex whistle for like drop. Um, but I I recommend just trying to learn the sound first and then implementing it into your drops to see what you can do. Anyways, that'll be it for the video. Um, subscribe because um, I post more tutorials and freestyles and stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, leave a comment on whatever you want to learn next, and um, I'll see you next time. <laughs>